Yeah. Now, what engine have you got in that? It's like a Ferrari. Well, it's all down to the fact that we use more voltage on our motors. Most people only use the rated voltage, and we run them, which is 24 volts, we run them at 36 volts, which gives us so much more speed and so much more power. But you're low to the ground, you're a nice compact robot, but the power and the speed, I mean, you were just like pulverized, it's like a jackhammer going in and out. Well, we're designed for speed and we're designed for traction, and that's exactly what it does. Now, how do you feel? Do you feel as though you're going to progress in this competition? Oh, definitely. <laughs> because it, I, it took me by surprise. I don't think I've seen something move that fast and hit that hard so far. It's like the Mike Tyson of the Robot Wars <laughs> world. <laughs> It's designed to bash. It's designed to bash. Absolutely, yep. All right, yeah. well, stay clear to say a killer lot because you might just bash your back. Absolutely. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, the Tornado team, let's hear it for them. Yeah. Well, Brian Moss with the long fair hair looked very pleased with himself, didn't he? Berserk two out, the Tornado boys go through, and what a heat final here. The mightily impressive Gemini against Tornado. Now, they're no slouches either. What's the definition of a Japanese eclipse? It's when a sumo wrestler's so big, he blocks out the sun. Well, it's time to do some blocking of our own in our sumo basho. Let the trials begin! <laughs> Terminator's great run staying in the sumo arena for one whole minute means the only way it can be beaten if one of the remaining robots pushes Shunt out within that given minute. But coming next, the reigning world and international champions. Let's see what they can do. From Bournemouth, seed number three, Razor. Three great competitors, Vinnie Blood, Simon Scott, Ian Lewis... Razor against Shunt. The object to stay Rose on that sumo basho arena floor. Three, two, one. Activate. Of course, now shove Shunt out of the arena. Oh dear, Razor's gone. Straight away, they had to go on the attack, really. Trying to force Shunt out of the arena and bang, crash. On Razor. Can't come back in, boys. He may try. Oh, what are you going to do? Bounce up off the rubber tyres? Razor. From Gloucester, seed number 19, Pussycat. The machine of Alan and David Gribble, Robert Bettington as well. The circular blade, very forceful weapon removed because this, let me get it, is a sign of strength and endurance. Roboteers, stand by. Three, two, one, activate. Stay on the sumo mat and also push shunt out. To win the sumo basho challenge, that's what one of our remaining contestants has to do, and it won't be pussycat. That's for certain. Retired, so to speak, from the sumo basho floor. In this way... A little shimmy by Shunt, delicate movement actually. Nice little dummy, drew on Pussycat, then got the great blade underneath Pussycat and bulldozed the kitty out of the arena. Out of the kitty tally up, well, sick so far. Razor down in 10th. Goodness me, they'll be disappointed with that, but look at Exterminator, the full minute survive. Four robots to go in the sumo bat show. Blimey. You can smell the sweat up here. I think we better get back to the wars. The heat final. Gemini against Tornado. Gemini, the seeded robot at number eight, and you can see why, can't you? Devastating so far. Now, to get to the heat final, they actually fought together earlier to destroy Caterkiller, you'll remember. Tornado then crashed Berserk 2, an easy victory. While Gemini defrocked the creature. For a place in the series semi finals. Well, it's very tense here, and looking at the robots and their previous performance, I don't know who my money's on actually. We've got here sort of two baby Chaos 2s, have we not? Yeah, kind of. Which could be a formidable opponent. It could be. And Tornado, very, very powerful. Yes, indeed. That's what you're relying on. 
Well, we should be able to push them around because, of course, when they're separated, they weigh half of what we do, but we're still worried about that weapon. It's very powerful. It flipped us before, and it could flip us again, so we're going to try and stay out of the way. Can Andrew March and David Gamble, Brian Ross and Tornado stay out of trouble? Blow them away, says the message. There they are, hopeful. From St. Leonard's on Sea, siege number eight, Gemini. Fantastic machine, Shane Howard, Brian Fountain and young Daryl Howard. Only ten, must be proud. Tornado. Gemini, replacing the series semi-finals. Three, two, one. Activate. Gemini splitting immediately from the start. Now each of those microbots then half the weight of tornado but still each can flip tornado up into the air which makes it doubly impressive for me tornado though on the drive slams one of the twins against the arena wall and don't forget as soon as one is out both are out technical consultant derek foxwell and it seemed very very strict on weights in this series of robot wars but at the moment, Tornado is the heavyweight of this class, slamming in on part of Gemini, and I think impaling Gemini there, not quite impaled on the arena spike, but Tornado coming back in to make sure, and slamming Gemini, and I think half the robot is impaled on the arena wall. Can they get away there? If they're immobilised for longer than 30 seconds, that's it. And Tornado would be the winner. Gemini, the cluster bot against Tornado. With a more orthodox look. And I think uh, part of the cluster bot trying to get the other side of the machine, the other twin off the arena wall, flipping Tornado up in the air. They're the Tornado team. They all work together. They're working together magnificently in Robot Wars and the twins helping each other out there as well. Trying to breathe life into its twin sister there. But is it too late? They were warned. It's part of the cluster bot was immobilized for more than 30 seconds, they would be dead and out of it. Tornado, meanwhile, a clever game. It can work either side up, so flipping and tossing Tornado won't work. Will it go for the judges? What's the decision here? Very close. Brilliant final. Well, a bit of controversy. The rules say that a cluster robot, that's a robot of two or more parts, after it's separated, if one of those parts breaks down for more than 30 seconds and is mobilised for more than 30 seconds, because it's only one robot, then it's out. So the winner is Tornado! <laughs> well, lads, it was an amazing engineering feat. But you were aware of that rule. Oh yeah, yeah, they beat fair and square. And but so it was a quite a risky strategy, really, wasn't it? Yeah. yeah. Uh, what went wrong with half of it then? Um, got rammed on that spike over there, and we think it's taken out either the speed controller or one of the batteries or something. See, when you've got two robots acting sort of independently of each other, you've got two chances of of yeah. going out, haven't you? Really? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. We've got two two big weapons as well, so yeah. two times more chances of getting thrown up in the air as well. So. Yeah. But you've taken it all in good spirit. You'll oh, come yeah. back, won't you? Definitely, yeah. Let's hear it for Gemini! Tornado! <laughs> come on! Well, you're through for the series semi-finals. That is a powerful robot, isn't it? It is indeed. Um, it wasn't an easy fight. That, that's a couple of damn good robots they've got there. Um, we lost a chain about halfway through, but that, by that time we'd already immobilised one of theirs. And it's, then, uh, it's just the power of the thing of yours. It's just, it's just so awesome. What's yeah. it like when you've got a fight? Like, you know, two separate robots at once. <laughs> it's difficult. It's very difficult. It's a very good idea. And it, we were just so lucky that we managed to spot, uh, impale them on that spike. And then if right. it wasn't for that, we wouldn't have got through. So I think there's going to be a lot more robots like that in the future of Robot Wars, yeah, aren't there? I think it's a very... Uh, Good idea for the future for people building out there. So, good luck in the series semi finals, lads, okay? Thank you very much. Well, I've heard a few wolf whistles and a good many fours because there's only good looking robots on Robot Wars. Bye bye.